Hello and welcome back to Lorefan Gaming Plays, Bars Gate 3. I'm your host, Lorefan, and it's Bars Gate 3 PC walkthrough video. We're still in Act 3 after that long, hard fight against Raphael. We're in day, you guessed it, 18. Also, something bad's going to happen at the camp. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Bars Gate 3 videos like this. Do not forget to hit the notification bell so be updated and more. So, you're asking, Lord Fenton, why are you resting this early? Well, number one, Shadow Heart has a very nasty debuff. Only way to get rid of that is a full rest. I'm not going to go into anything else uh, just like at this status. If she didn't have that at all, then I would definitely, you know, go, go uh, somewhere else. Just keep on going. In other words, probably would did the mausoleum stuff. And uh, number two, yeah, I tested this out and one of my three characters was uh, kidnapped, which was Halson. And I'm going to try to avoid that. So I'm going to have uh, Gail, Lizelle, and Halson into the party. If that happens, uh, guess what? Yenna gets kidnapped. That's why I want exactly. Because I still want to keep these party members uh, with me at all times and such. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start all this now. I will return after. That's the last of Raphael. I'll be glad to no longer have to suffer his smug face. If you're sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. To slay a devil in his domain is to end him entire. Or it should be. I am still primed to hear some slimy final rhyme from beyond the grave. I need a moment for the two of us. Raphael is no more. I shall not shed any tears. Then you'll have me. Lead on. Raphael's good and gone. Feels damn good too. Now, if only I could get rid of the other devil in my life. is ours. The devil is snuffed out. Our power is undeniable. Hey, soldier. <laughs> no amount of contracts will save Raphael from the fate we forced upon him. A devil well slain, if I say so myself. Defeating a devil in his own home feels very, very good, actually. I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients, and I'm gonna make something really good, I promise. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Delicious, but I will not bite you. Ooh, more. Ready and waiting. Now, for those of you who's been through the House of Hope episodes, I've stolen some clothing. Yep, you guessed right. Lizelle's going to be start handing out clothing. I'm going to use this new feature by giving everybody some piece of nice clothing from hell. I should say the House of Hope. Yeah, they're not going to wear that boring stuff no more. I accidentally uh, forgot about Jahira, but still, I want to say is, 
If you go to the House of Hope and steal some nice clothing, go for it. It's the best clothing in the entire game. So I'm going to go off screen and finish off the rest of uh, doing this. Okay, mostly everybody has clothing. I'll get you here later on in the video. So once again, Halson, Gail, and Lizelle, you want in the party, as always, before resting up. If not, Orin the Red will take one of them away. So let's go ahead and rest up at this time. A bit of salt on the top, and... Oh, you're here! I'm not ready! I mean, I think I'm ready. I I thought you'd be hungry, so I made this for you. My mum's favourite recipe. She used to work in the kitchens at some fancy noble's house. I... I know it won't be good like she used to do, but... I think I remembered everything. I wanted to do something to show I was worth keeping around. I want to be your cook. You really mean it? I'll, I'll make you proud. I'll be the best cook you ever had. Do, do you want to try it? See? It's good, right? You know why? Because I put in my secret ingredient. Want me to tell you what it is? You taste nothing out of the ordinary. The herbs and spices sold by any market trader. I put a special meat inside. <laughs> Such a sweet little kitten. Oh, how it screamed! Is it my nether stone you seek, little piggy? Or did the child's little pet leave you no appetite for the main cause? Do you not savor the slaughter of such innocence? Do you drown in despair already? Oh, but there's so much more to do. <laughs> I could peel a fine pelt from the mud I caught, sniffing at your heels. Drag skin from flesh, from bone. <gasps> I will not slice. Her kind die too easily. The murder lord demands a better offering. Something new. Sticky, sweet, and delicious. He wants you. <laughs> Kethrick's killer turned the corpse lover to carrion when you took his stone. Oh, but he was a dull kill. No blood to spill, no guts to rip. The desiccated husk. All dust and hollow. You must be sharpened before you set your edge against my skin. <laughs> You'd prefer my whispers in the tyrant's tongue? Hmm? You've heard Gortash's whispers. I see how your skull swarms with his promises. He whinges and wails over the crown of Carsus, wanting to command it without me. Oh, how I long to slit his poxy smile from ear to ear. 
but I can't touch him. He bound my blade when we first conspired. Kortesh didn't want me at first. Didn't trust me. Got me to wag my tongue, swear an oath never to hang him from the hooks. Trip train him into father's open jaws. You must kill the tyrant. Take the Netherstone from his corpse and bring it to my temple. There we slice and shred each other. The survivor claims the stones. What's left of the other is balls. Agree, and I will bring my assassins to heal. They watch you always, longing to spray the crimson from your veins. Refuse me, and you'll learn what happens to those who defy Baal's doctrine. So will your friend. Oren demands a fight to the death. The prize for the victor, the Nether Stones, and the chance to control the crown alone. Accept, and you must kill Gortash. Refuse, and the child's life may be forfeit. As might your own. Orin's assassins will hunt you like prey for slaughter. <sighs> the promise of slaughter? Of pain and humiliation and the sound of blood drip? Dropping into the gutter. Do not underestimate his steel watch. Seek their cradle in the lower city and skewer their skull meat. Make them rust and blood. Then you can gore the lordling again and again and again. But listen, listen close, bone killer. Step in my domain while the tyrant still sucks air, and I will carve your failure into your pretty plaything's skull. <laughs> Bring me his stone, and I will set the bait free. <laughs> Only then can you and I make exquisite butchery. The victor will set the world to slaughter. <laughs> That is Baal's offer. He will not make another. I have a lot on my mind. If the Shape Changer wants Gortash dead, then let's kill Gortash and get Yenna back. Not that I care, it's just that... Children have a habit of disappearing in this city. <clears throat> Let's not let any more slip away. To threaten the life of a child. Truly. Orin will stop at nothing. That bloody freak won't get away with this. We're going to hunt her down and take Yenna back. Mark my words. Orin thinks this abduction is some sort of ultimatum to kill Gortash. Foolish woman. As if I needed more reason than I already had. Orin's made off with Yenna. Either we mount a rescue, or we win her freedom with Gortash's life. Orin snatches a child to clamor for our attention. She has it. Orin's game is abduction, is it? Well, we can't stand idly by. We've got an ally to rescue. Orin has taken Yenna. We must free her. Either by force, or by paying for her freedom with Gortash's life. Wherever you need me. I'll be right here in camp. Take care out there. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? 
All right. Some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. Good. I was just starting to miss the sound of your voice. That was messed up. I thought that was Yenna. She's going to cook me some nice skewers. And instead, it was grub on a skewer. Yeah, that was really messed up. Or Red kill, kill a nice cat. You know, the cat didn't like get pet at all. But still, that cat was innocent. I mean, come on. Seriously. Oh, wow. That's a good one for uh, Jahira. Any uh, ways. Still, I was offered a deal. Kill Gortash. Save Yenna possibly. Or... Kill Orin the Red first, then, uh, of course, Yenna probably would have died, then Gortash would have lived. Somewhat. Uh, guess what? I picked Yenna over Lord Gortash. Sorry about that, dude. You're going to have to die. Anyways, let's go ahead and end this long day. Now, welcome to day 19. I was supposed to explore these sewers and the uh, mausoleums to rob it. However, yeah, I could not at all. So I'm going to go ahead and switch team members in and out and give my very important reasons for it. Now, obviously, I picked Shadowheart because she's a very powerful healer. That's my main reason. And she did well during the three boss fights I needed her in at the most. Now, Will, obviously... I might still think, of course, that I should say his father is there. Yeah, that's right. If I could find his father, that's fine. If not, Mazor did tell the truth. Uh, another thing as uh, well, I will say it's Karlak. Yeah, Karlak wants to kill Go Lord Gortash. I'm bringing a lot for the trip for that. Our barbarian, she's going to get her revenge. And also, I'm trying to get a lot of these teleportation scrolls and anything like that. Now, I think the rest uh, now is up to four to six to meet or in the red. If I delay any further than that, she might kill Yenna. So I'm going to have to be very careful from here on out on how to actually uh, plan this out entirely. If I do get stuck on, uh, I should say, anything, I will switch team members. However, I'll have to be careful on how and when to switch it, of course. Now, I will have to start planning my uh, rest um, very carefully as uh, well. I'm going to treat going to the camp as a full rest. Just like I did with True Soul Near. Yeah. True Soul Near in Act 1, you go to the camp that count as a full rest. You go again or you do a full rest after that. True Soul Near dies. I didn't want that. Glad I planned that smartly. So I'm going to get everybody prepared. And our first target for Lord Gortash's downfall is the Steel Watcher's Foundry. That's his army. We're going to go ahead and take out his uh, arms. So let's do that now. Let's get out of here. trying to pick a fight, Will, but it really seems like a blatantly ill-advised idea. It's the furthest thing from my mind. Besides, not all things are cut from the same scorched cloth. Except for the people actually wanting a broad sheet. Puzzles! How do they differ, then? The number of horns? The exact timbre of their evil life? Could be most anything. Their willingness to torment their travel partners with wisecracks, for example. Here's the deal, everyone. I'm taking out the arms of Lord Gortash because the Steel Watchers, that's his army. You take out his uh, personal army, Lord Gortash should be easier to fight. I'll probably say most likely you uh, guessed it. Uh, he'll have less help in the fight to uh, come. There'll be a lot of character conversations. I'm going to leave that in the open. So here's uh, one of them at this time. Let's keep away from the books we see on Racing? Huh. Oh, There's something going on here. I don't like it. Careful. I smell an ambush. Are you sure it's not the flowers you're smelling? You may be allergic. Uh, better safe than sorry, I suppose. I almost missed that with Carlac and Shadowheart on flowers, which is uh, good. 
So anyways, we're going towards the docks. That's our area where we need to uh, be. Yeah, we're going to do a whole bunch of quests that relates to disabling the steel watchers. Or in other words, steel uh, nolems that's been made. And yeah, those steel nolems, I'm going to have a good time destroying them. Now, I'll probably say is if they're uh, metal, most likely you're going to need lightning spells and such. And I'll have to uh, figure out on how to get those. I might have to improvise without it. I did defeat some without, of course, uh, those. Since the fact my characters are built so well. Yeah, I'm really confident about my paladin that's being built up. Plus, he has so much uh, good items on him. Carl actually has some great items as uh, well, too. If I need anything, yeah, I'll uh, visit the uh, Nolems for uh, stuff to uh, buy from them as uh, well. They'll help me for the uh, battle to uh, come. Still, we'll go uh, this uh, direction. I accidentally went to the bridge part. It did uh, somewhat uh, trigger another conversation between Will and Shadowheart. Yeah, the first one was uh, very funny. I really uh, did enjoy that. Still, this is like a good party, uh, I should say, party combination for uh, banter as uh, well. Okay, all save kicked in. That means there must be something very important nearby. It's amazing how the city can seem almost peaceful at times, knowing all that goes on out there. All that goes on. Consider the numbers. Someone out there must be having the worst day of their life. Robbed, evicted, widowed. Who knows? No wonder Shah thrives with such misery. If that's true, then so must be the opposite. There are people out there celebrating their lives' best moments. A wedding to their betrothed, a new baby, a windfall, the taste of an exquisite pudding. Now, that was uh, very interesting, so uh, here's the uh, deal. Down there, that's where the Steel Watch found, I should say Steel Watchers Foundry is at. Also, some other quests for the next video, too. I'm not going to go too far because I want to start the Volo one next time. Yeah, he looks like he, I could barely see him. He's in uh, trouble. Yeah, he's in big trouble. Anyway, here's a recap. So, when I started the video, I was at the camp setting up my anti-party member kidnap team which is Halson, Lizelle, and Gale. After I ended the day, Yenna wanted to cook us something. Found out that was not Yenna and we ate a cat. Yeah, that was messed up. We, uh, of course, agreed to deal with uh, Orin Red, saying uh, we don't go after fir her first. Instead, we go after Gortash. We're going to weaken him first before doing all that. After that, talk to everybody in the camp on what happened, and we are setting ourselves up in the next video to start the process of Lord Gortash's downfall. In the next Baldur's Gate 3 PC walkthrough video, first we have to save Volo. After all of uh, that, we're going to grab some quests along the way. This is it for my Baldur's Gate 3 PC walkthrough video, Act 3, Day 18N, and also Yenna is kidnapped video. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night. And do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more classic and modern Dungeons and Dragons walkthroughs, builds, guides, and more just like this. If you like what you see, then uh, go ahead and pick my suggestion on the upper left-hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left-hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and relax in this nice chair.